everyone. Welcome to Cooking with Chef Rich. Today we're going to be making a roasted garlic parmesan cauliflower gratin. Try saying that one five times fast. Anyway, so we're going to start off with, um, we'll talk about our ingredients first. I have two heads of cauliflower, some breadcrumbs, some salt and pepper, some parmesan cheese, some chopped garlic, and some olive oil. And this I just want to show you real quick. Sometimes when you cut cauliflower, it has some brown spots on it. What you can do is you just shave those off. People don't really like to see that. So I just wanted to show you that. The other part about cutting cauliflower, to cut cauliflower, I do something like it's an inverted V. I take the core out. Take all the leaves out. And then you want to cut it into bite-sized pieces. If they're really big, a lot of it just falls apart, kind of. You can just like pull it, pull it apart sometimes. Basically, you just want bite-sized pieces. And I'm soaking this in a little bit of water um, just to clean it. And I'll show you what it looks like in two minutes. See you, see you in two minutes. Bye. I decided to go with a quarter cup of oil. We're going to pour this into our cauliflower. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take, we have our breadcrumbs over here, our Parmesan. Try to break up any clumps of Parmesan. We're going to add our salt and pepper and our chopped garlic. Probably should have used a bigger bowl, but will probably work. You can definitely use a bigger bowl, but that's all right. That should be good. And what we're going to do is I have a sheet pan that's lined with parchment paper, and I'm just going to put this all on top and give it a really nice toss. hopefully not make too much of a mess like I'm doing. Breadcrumbs flying all over the place. But that's all right. Get the edges of the oil. It's a bit dry. I will put all the ingredients in the um, description down below. Once your cauliflower is all coated, we're going to put this on a sheet pan and we're going to stick it in the 375 degree oven. That's probably pretty good. I'm going to put this out flat on the sheet pan. Then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of leftover on top. That makes it nice. Alrighty, now I'm going to put this in a 375 degree oven. Uh, I actually have no idea how long this is going to take, so I will let you know when it comes out. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. So our cauliflower just came out of the oven. It was in the oven for right about an hour. If you like it a little bit browner, you can put the broiler on and brown it just for a minute or two. Um, for me, it's fine. It tastes delicious. I'm going to put it on a plate and I'll show you what it looks like. See you in a minute. So I put our cauliflower in a bowl. Uh, I put a little bit of fresh parsley on top, and uh, I'm going to take a taste. Really, really, really good. Uh, I really love cauliflower. The um, Parmesan and breadcrumb topping make this like an unbelievable dish. So if you like cauliflower you and you like Parmesan cheese, this is seriously a great dish for you. Anyway, I hope you like this video. If you do, please like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Leave your comments below. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.